Hello everyone. We welcome you to present our final project of Computer Science Department. Our project topic is Image Quilting Algorithm for Texture Synthesis, which basically is patching an image to get a larger image, which is mostly found in video games. Our team members includes Lirin Johnsi, Tara Jos, Tanya Susan Sajeev, and Tina John. We were guided by Ms. Shruti, Assistant Professor of Visat. Abstract Image quilting is an image based method for generating visual appearance in which a new image is synthesized by stitching together small patches of existing image. Efros and Freeman's method is a non parametric patch based method which takes an input image and computes an output texture image for by quilting together the patches. The stitching technique in Efros and Freeman's method reduces the transition effect between the patches. The problem statement. Texture synthesis is a classical image processing problem. It is a process of algorithmically constructing a large image from a small sample size by using its structural content. Image quilting is a method used for texture synthesis. A new image is synthesized by stitching together small patches of existing images. Given an input texture image, it consists of producing output texture images that are both visually similar and pixel wise different from the input and having a possibly larger size. The design We are going to see the main algorithm on which our project is based on. There are four steps in this algorithm. The first step is initialization of the output texture image, IS. For that, we randomly select a patch from the input texture image, IO. The second step is the patch selection. We cannot randomly select the next patch as in the first step because we need to find the best suited patch. To find the best suited patch, we calculate a parameter called square distance. Square distance is a mathematical parameter that measures the degree of variation. So, we compute the square distance between the previously selected patch and all the patches in the input texture image. Then, we select the patch from the input texture image that gives the least square distance value. To remove any noticeable edges, we find the minimum error boundary cut between the previously selected patch and the new patch. To find this optimal boundary cut, we compute two parameters. First, we find the square difference between the old patch and the new patch. The square difference is a parameter that helps us to find the error surface. Then we find and put all the admissible parts in the overlap region into a set. We find the cumulative error of all these parts. Cumulative error is the error that tends to add up or accumulate on those that occur in the same direction. We select the path, we select the path with the least cumulative error and use this path as the optimal boundary cut. To find the minimum error boundary cut, three, uh, three cases can occur depending upon the shape of the overlap. One, the vertical overlap. Two, the horizontal overlap. And three, the L-shaped overlap. Vertical overlap and the horizontal overlap share the same method as mentioned earlier. L-shape overlap is a combination of the vertical overlap and the horizontal overlap. So, for, for that kind of overlap, we combine case 1 and case 2. The implementation. The code was developed in Python language and was executed successfully. The main libraries used were matplotlib, numpy, etc. The results were obtained as expected and were found to be better than the other texture synthesis method. Now, the result. The first image is the input texture image from which we take patches to come to synthesize the output texture image. The next image is the output texture image produced when we do not find the minimum error boundary cut. You can 
can see that the edges are very much noticeable in this image. The next image is the final synthesized output image where we come where we use the minimum error boundary cut. You can see that all edges are removed and the quality of the image significantly improved as compared to the previous one. Here comes to the end of our project. Thank you for your time.